Hey there. So a vector style portrait would be something like this um, that you would make using using the pen tool that we used for that that Michael Jordan um, and basketball hoop silhouette. Um, and so so something like this that has a whole bunch of like different shapes that you would make by by clicking around with a pen tool and then choosing the exact color from the photograph that you're basing your image off of. And so to do that, um, I'll start with my weasel. So you'll select the pen tool, um, make sure it's on shape. Um, for now, let's just let's just like leave the fill however you want. Um, we don't need a stroke, and bring the the point of the outline just to like one, so that it's not distracting. Um, from here, you would zoom in. I'm gonna be start with his little paws. Okay. And you would, um, you would click, just like how you did for the Michael Jordan image. So clicking around, click, 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 click. I'm not, not quite sure how to best do his pause because this picture is so blurry. Um, if you're not able to see the outline, you can turn the opacity down a little bit. Keep clicking around, click, 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 click. Okay, and so, so what I just did was I outlined everything that was all one color. Um, and from here, I'm going to click the eyeball to hide that shape. Um, then I'm going to double click to open up the, um, the color picker. And I'm just going to click somewhere on the image to get that, that exact white color for that, that entire area. Um, I, I can click OK, turn the opacity back up, turn the eyeball back on. This, that does not look great, um, but but that would be the beginning of my image. From from there, I would need to figure out another section um, that all has a similar color. So so again, a a reminder that when you're about to create another shape layer, just make sure that you that you're that you have the background there selected so that the computer doesn't get confused. Um, and I'm just gonna start with like this this like darker brown area a little bit. So click, click, click. And I'm just going to do this really quickly so we can be done with this video. Um, and it looks like, I mean, it looks like the darker brown area sort of goes all the way up. And then I, after that, I would want to put like some, some individual hairs over this layer. From there, I would click the eyeball, double click to open up the color picker. Wow, I did not do a good job right there. Um, and select the exact color. Okay, click eyeball and then turn the opacity back on. Okay, and, and so what you would do for this style of portrait is, is you would keep making um, these individual shape layers to cover up um, the image. And then after you do that, you could add like a gradient background or a solid color background. Um, and if we go back to here, so, so how this would look for a picture of someone's face, um, you would want to, like, like your skin tone is probably all the same color, um, but you would want to add special shapes for things like your eyebrows, um, like highlights on your nose, shadows around your eyes to make sure that that your face is looking three-dimensional. So that is how you would do a vector style portrait.